a noble profession and uh, it's been part of my family for generations. Uh, my name is uh, Colonel Charles Amell. Uh, most in the military call me Chuck. Um, I have, uh, it will be my 41st year of service in uh, next week. I deployed first to uh, the Congo in 2003, 2004. Uh, that was uh, quite an adventure, to say the least. Uh, what was particularly unique is that my father served in the Congo as well back in 1961-62. My last appointment was 2010-2011 uh, uh, to Afghanistan. It was a long tour, 13 months. It's what uh, we in the military call a marathon. I sustained an injury uh, in a convoy uh, accident um, back in 05, December 05 specifically. And uh, so they've had to do some uh, physical reconstruction in, uh, on my jaw. The other injury I sustained was uh, an occupational stress injury. A lot of people would think that uh, uh, the violence is um, uh, probably the most uh, difficult. Um, but in fact, what I found uh, um, most uh, distressing was uh, the poverty and more specifically the victims uh, of war, uh, the women and the children. It was hard for us, him being away for that long and to know that he's in a place where there's always a risk. He was away from my high school graduation and my 18th birthday and all these big events in my life and I was worried that that would continue if something happened. It's not on the radar screen, it's not often on the news and people will have a tendency to, uh, to disconnect and uh, other things become a priority like the economy and education and so on. Um, but True Patriot Love and organizations like that basically bring it back to the forefront. Uh, True Patriot Love supports a, a vast array of organizations. The one that I'm most familiar with is the Military Family Resource Center. Missing the family is uh, probably the, uh, the main thing. Um, but uh, thanks to organizations like the MFRC, uh, knowing that your family uh, is secure and cared for back uh, on the home front, uh, that allows you to become uh, mission focused. Our citizens need to know that we are uh, their army, Air Force, Navy. Um, so uh, it needs to be supported so they can be uh, proud of this institution.